Hi there, my name is Matt and today at Moulded Cords and Cables I'm going to be showing you how to wire up a few different rewirable plugs and sockets. Okay, so the first plug I'm going to be demonstrating how to wire is a Euro plug. It's our part number STK15. Uh, as you see this Euro plug is it's a two and a half amp rated so it's used for the lower ampage applications such as electric toothbrushes and shavers and all around Europe in the lower ampage applications. A lot of people make a common mistake when they phone us asking for a Euro plug when they actually mean a Shuko plug. The big difference between, as you can see, a Euro plug and a Shuko plug is that the Shuko plug is a much higher ampage rating, maximum of 16 amps, also has earth connections as well. So anyway, so okay, so first things first, we've got a bit of cable here. Always remember to put the hood over the cable first to ensure, so a lot of people forget to do that and wire up the plug and then realise actually well, I forgot to put the hood over and end up with just a, a bare bit of cable going into a, a in a plug. So obviously for, for demonstration purposes I'm just going to leave that to the side because I've only got a short bit of cable. So first things first, I'm going to measure up the cable, how much I need to strip the inner cable, the outer sheet of the cable. Do that I'll just line it up in there. As you can see, I want to make sure that when I strip this, I want to leave enough inner cable so that it doesn't so that it doesn't clamp so the strain relief doesn't clamp down on the inner sheath of the cable. So I do a rough measurement and then mark it with my thumb just to mark the cable. And I'll take my there's a few tools for the job actually I'm going to need. I'll need some outer sheath stripping tools some inner sheath stripping tools and a cable crimper. Okay, so I've measured it, I've marked it with my thumb. I'm just going to take the outer sheath stripping tool like that. Strip the outer. Then I'll take the inner sheath and I line it up with the termination. And I can see it's approximately five to six millimetres take my inner sheath stripping tool, set that to about 6mm and strip it. Okay. One thing to note is with the Euro plug it doesn't matter, they're not marked live or neutral, it doesn't matter which way round you put the live and neutral. So don't don't worry about that, you can literally just plug it in any way you like. So for I'll put the neutral in there, I'll take my crimping tool. With the crimps, these crimping tools you can buy from any good electrical store. They're like uh, side cutters but blunt basically. So I wouldn't recommend trying to do it with a normal pair of side cutters because you'll end up just cutting straight through the terminal. So just crimp there, nice and gently, not too hard. And the same. Always twist the innards as well nicely so they're nice and neat. Just live in there, take my crimping tool. Just give a gentle tug, don't tug too hard because the strain relief is in in the actual rest of the plug as you can see these teeth there. So I'm going to push that in just to make sure that when I close it down it's not going to crimp down on the inner cables. And I fold that round like so and then the whole thing just slots together. Put the sheath over which should be on already. You push that in and push it on tight until you hear a nice click. It should seat. Nicely. That's one thing to note, these, these inner teeth have to line up otherwise it will go in all crooked so I make sure that's nice and true like that. And then put the outer on, which you would have had on already. Push that through, that's got through. It's just push it through until you hit click. There you go. Now that won't go anywhere. And that's basically a Euro plug.